Brennan. You good boy, right? You good boy? Outside. Didn't say come inside. Outside. Oh. Today, I'm going to plant these new vegetables. And she stopped laying, so she'll have to get eaten. Well, that's my main go-to now for getting fish. And I've bought this spare one here for patrons and young fellas that want to come fishing with me. Good morning, Poe. Good morning. Where you go? <laughs> you good boy. Hey, Pace. You good boy, eh? You good boy. Hey. You good boy. You stay. Where you go? <laughs> need to tidy all this rubbish up under his kennel. Big Z! Here's my puppy. Hey, boy. Look at the size of him. I reckon you got bigger overnight, eh? Look at the size of you, eh? Hey, Big Z, you good boy, hey? Look at the size of him. Oh, he's a good boy, aren't you, eh? Hey, Big Z, hey? B, you're a good boy, aren't you, eh? What you doing in there, Pace, eh? Well, you're having a pee under the kennel, are you? Hey, Big Z, you good boy, hey? You're beautiful, aren't you, eh? You don't know about staying, do you, yet? I'm gonna do some training with you. Stay, stay. Where you going? Pace stuff that up. There he goes. Calm down, Pace. Technically, he's now shitting on my neighbour's property. He was once my landlord. Hey, well, how are you going? And yeah, welcome to this uh, vlog. I'm in day seven now of self isolation. I guess by the time you guys watch this, a lot of you'll be in isolation yourself. Uh, puppies are running around. Well, not puppies, my pup's running around at least. Dogs, I like bloody puppies away the carry on, running around like mad bastards. And the weather is very cool, which says to me hunting time for the dogs very soon. So doing a walk around the farm, just checking everything. And uh, today I want to plant some vegetables. Get them behind! Get up! I want to plant some vegetables. Good dogs. Good dog, good dog. You actually listen that time. It's the first time that he's actually got them behind. Good boy. You've got yellow pee on your nose. That's probably a bloody pace. Get them behind. Okay, where you go. Their prey drive is starting to go through the roof. It's been a long time. It's been pig hunting. There's a rabbit running across the paddock over there. They want to catch everything. We've got rabbits everywhere right now, which is fantastic, because that's going to be a big part of my food source. But you can't live off rabbit, rabbit alone. You need to have fat in your diet. And so sheep will get slaughtered. It's just rabbits everywhere running around. I've seen more rabbits than I've noticed, and they've probably always been there. It's a bit like when you buy a car and suddenly everyone else has got the same model. Right now, because I'm thinking into uh, where my food is going to be coming from, it's just like every time I see something that's potentially protein, I'm thinking, yep, oh, that's over there, that's there, there's a hare lives over there, there's a rabbit lives up there, there was a possum in the tree last night, I'll just leave it until I need to take it. There's plenty of food around. For people that have to go into supermarkets and have to shop, all I can say is be, be bloody careful with all of your uh, practices. The virus can live on, I believe, on plastic surfaces and shiny surfaces for three to four days and correct me if I'm wrong. So, you've got to be mindful of that. The main thing in New Zealand now is slowing it down. We've got reported cases uh, of yesterday, uh, it was 102, and today, of course, there'll be more reported ones that have been reported, but a lot more that probably won't. And we also got now uh, a case where it's been spreading the community. Get in! Good job. Lots of praise when he comes. Right, walk these guys, carry on. Nice cool morning. It screams to go hunting when it's cool like this. Good dog, Bruno. Good boy, eh? Hey? Good boy. Good dog. That's a good dog. Good boy. Down. Good boy. Oh, B loves the water. I reckon it'd be a good dog for retrieving ducks. It'd be a great retriever. Look at his broken tail. Look at the old bent tail there. See that?
couple of meals sitting on the bank on the other side there. Bigsy just saw the rabbits in, just watch them. You know, he's trying to work out where to go. Oh no, he's going to come back up his usual path to get back up again. There we go. He's not silly. Ah, oh, he's a good boy, aren't you, eh, mate? You a good boy? Yes, you are. Good dog, aren't you, eh? Hey, you're a good boy. What a lovely puppy, eh? All the dogs think I'm talking about them. <laughs> How could you not love this little puppy, eh? Oh, he's a lovely boy. I just got news from my my nephew, Mikhail. Get away, Bruno. I don't want your lump. But uh, he's going to come and stay with me. He's been told he's, he's laid off and he's got to leave because the people he's living with are old and they're at risk. So um, he's going to take Dayla's house truck. And here he is calling me right now. Okay, I'll uh, report back later. This here's an a old muscle boy that washed up on the beach. I've got a few of them. And I had a garden and a year ago, as you can see, the weeds have, have all gone through it. So right now I'm just getting that all grubbed out. And I want to get the soil and I want to process it, put it through a screed, get all the crap out of it and replant my vegetables in it. It's actually quite good soil, but I need to get all this stuff here off first and get it in a place where the rats can't get to it. Ah, uh, you're a good dog, Bigsy. Right, let's see if we can pull this thing. Oh, it's heavier than I thought it'd be. Oh, it might be to tow over the truck, I think. Oh, no, we're gonna go. We're gonna shift it down the driveway to that trailer over there, right there. And keep it off the off the ground. Really doesn't make sense to. Uh, bust my guts when I got a truck. So I'm gonna put a towing hitch on this and just pull it along. I'll show what a towing hitch is. This is the knot you use whenever you've got something that you're gonna pull, you wanna untie. So it goes around there, you create a bite, there's a bite. Come back around this side, create a bite on this side there, there's another bite. And once you've done that three times, it pretty much is not gonna tighten up that you can't get it. You just put a half hitch in there like that and that will pull on itself. Yeah, I think we just hit the bucket. I don't think my bucket survived that too well. Now we're looking. Nah, she's not too flash. So that now, that now becomes a planter. Oh, a planter with lots of ventilation for water. I'm gonna use that there to plant stuff and it'll be fine. It's got some drainage. Hey, Poe. So here's our towing hitch, and as you can see, very easy to untie. You're not wasting any of your rope, you've got something you can use again. Basic. And a lot of people don't do that. A lot of people end up destroying like a good piece of rope, or in this case, ban, and uh, get themselves in trouble and waste stuff. So these are my herbs, and a bit of coriander. It's actually coriander that I bought from the shop. And then I cut it and replant it rather than throwing it away because you buy it live. And as you can see, I'm already getting some stuff off it and some small growth down there. Yeah, I've got some herbs growing there, and these are what I'm going to plant out in my, my new one. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to shift this whole lot to there. So, the trailer is tilted so I can lift this big heavy one up. I'm not going to supermarkets and doing all my own food from now on, but it's going to be a lot more physical work done around the farm, not just with planting. But with everything, slaughter of animals, hunting, fishing, gathering everything. Uh, I forgot to film it, but uh, using the power of leverage, a couple of straps on each end, I got this big weight of dirt up onto the trailer. Now I'm going to make that dirt grow up, I'm going to break it down, screed it. Yesterday Hillary dropped off this lemon plant, it's uh, called a, do you pronounce that, Mia? I'm not sure. And it says that it's uh, good in all temperatures, it gets up to two metres. So it's in a small pot now. I'm just going to uh, take it in that and stick it in this bigger one here.
I'm not very good at gardening, so while you guys are watching me, if you can give me any tips and stuff, I'd appreciate it. So the good thing about a lemon tree is that you can pee on it. And that supplies it with your ear, not directly on it. You might want to, I suppose, uh, dilute it with a bit of water. But I watched that movie about um, the Britain motorcycle, and uh, I learned it from that because the guy peed on his lemon tree every morning. And we'll water that in later on. Bloody good. That'll give us lemons. Gonna heat that up on that fire there, get it nice and hot. Okay, that's kale. In about six weeks you can harvest it. So we're going to uh, water that in and try and protect it from all the birds, rats, rabbits, everything around here as best we can. White butterfly. And some more lemon tree that I've planted. Bigger bucket. I got this parsley, I'm going to plant that out too in my herb garden here. That's a little bit of my work today just to uh, prep for not going to the supermarket too much. Tomorrow's another day, we'll do some more planting. I have my nephew Mikhail on his way from Waiheke Island. He needed a place to stay, and I'm happy to have him join me. He's going to be in isolation in that house truck there for the first two weeks. And he's going to work while he's here. I'll give him free accommodation in return for doing gardening, uh, firewood, all the jobs that require physical hard yakka because he's a, he's a strong man. Some of you have written and asked me, are we allowed to go out hunting? Are we allowed to go out fishing during lockdown? Well, common sense prevails, and I've done a short clip on this on my Facebook, but what you have to understand is that all the people like the Coast Guard and all the volunteers for the Coast Guard, all the SAR workers, search and rescue for the mountains, if someone gets lost up there, they're mostly, majority of them are volunteers. Uh, a lot of volunteers, our St. John's, our fire brigade, and then the other services, everybody is pushed to the max right now, so if you go out in the water and get yourself into trouble, you may not have the help that once upon a time you would have normally had. I'll put this down here, get away from the wind that's going to blow the audio out. So you've got to just right now just use your common sense and think about the overall thing of people. Things are not the same. You will not get the help you normally got. The Rescue Westpac helicopter may have its staff themselves maybe like in lockdown. So 
lockdown generally means lockdown. If you're like me and you are surviving on just the fish you're catching and the meat you're catching, then use precaution. You know, I go out here 2Ks up to even 10 kilometers of my kayak. I will not be going out that far at all. My, my personal locator beacon may not get answered if I get into trouble out there. I'll be inside 500 meters and only fishing when my fish supplies have just about run out. Right now I don't need to go fishing because I have plenty of supplies. So sort of adopt this mentality that we've got to think outside the box. There will not be the services there necessarily help you if you get into trouble. It's okay to go into the bush or go in the sea, you know, as far as people go, so long as you maintain a, a two metre distant from everybody. That's the main thing. There is a lot of questions that people ask me that I can't answer because honestly this thing is just coming in. It's changing by the minute. And every hour there's more cases of people that are being you know, found out to be COVID-19 positive, which is not a good thing. And I think there'll be a shitload more before this whole shitstorm is over. One thing I will say to you all is this, is while you are in lockdown, take this time to build up your immune system, to eat good nutrition, get rid of all the sugar in your diet. Sugar destroys your immune system. Anything with sugar in it, get rid of it if you care about yourself and your loved ones. That's just a fact. We know that. You can Google it and find out yourself. Eat good nutrition and try to get your sleep. Sleep is so important for the immune system. If you're not getting the sleep you need, the immune system will suffer as i found out last week when i had 10 days on the road went hunting in the early in the morning then played gigs i got run down i got an infection makes sense doesn't it to look after your sleep uh, good nutrition and of course exercise you may be at home but work out a workout program if you're at home maybe you've got a uh, you can do a hell of a lot of stuff in one room you can do a shitload of press ups star jumps you can do that so use this time to get your fitness up so if by bad luck you run into not just covert COVID-19 but any any virus your immune system's ready to attack it because we're going into winter here in New Zealand and that's when viruses and nasties are getting around. Uh, this is just one of my daily snap vlogs. I'm back on them again while we're during lockdown I will keep bringing you uh, updates. I'm excited about my nephew Mikhail turning up. He is going to be very helpful to have here. That's it. Be good. Can't be good. Be careful. See you later. And I'll reiterate. Be careful. Bye.